so we're in the Whittaker MW6 on Sunday April 24th 2022 and uh, I think someone needs to cut the grass around here <laughs> it is an airfield we're at Roche Roche Barton uh, and interestingly uh, in the default um, uh, the default rendition, uh, this uh, Rosh Barton is in the wrong place completely. Let me just show you where we are. So we're in the heart of the Cornwall mining zone in the southwest of England. And uh, you, you can find the airfield by uh, moving, looking for the A30. And then just to the south of the A30. Uh, you can see uh, the Roche airfield here and the um, the default one appears in, a, in an ordinary fill, field over here right by the uh, um, uh, the wind power generator that you saw in the photograph uh, that great white spinning windmill so um, we're going to uh, take a little flight south from here and have a, a look around the, uh, the the obvious open cast mining operations that go on to the south and then come back for a landing. There's not much scenery to see at uh, at Rush Barton uh, but what there is is complements of Subi Spud. So let's get in the air. Uh, zoom around the airfield. Not much to see, as I said, but uh, I'll have a look anyway. So there are a series of T hangers, parked aircraft, and uh, that's about it. It makes it interesting. And there's that windmill I mentioned, the uh, wind power generator. And of course the, uh, uh, the default scenery is removed from this, uh, this setting. It's a miserable day, isn't it? There's something I like about the rain. So we're going to fly up to the higher ground, to the south, in front of us. About 1,300 feet at the moment, so we should be clear of the tops. You can start to see the white areas, which is the open cast mining. On the map, there's a huge area, uh, and all sorts of things are mined here in Cornwall. Apart from tourism, it's probably Cornwall's number one industry. And I doubt I can find it, but there is a uh, British lithium mine mining project that is based right in the middle of all this. On the hill right in front of us, I think, somewhere up there. So you can see the scars on the landscape to our left. View of the sea now. And uh, we'll just circle around the summit. I could just briefly turn real world weather off so that you can get a, a full view of. Ha! <laughs> yeah, it's much pleasanter winds. 
sudden change. So there we are. You can see how the mining affects the landscape. You can see on the map, perhaps that building down there on our left uh, could be the British Lithium Project. As you may know, lithium is the principal ingredient for uh, the new electric car batteries. So let's, let's let's turn real world web back on. I think I'm probably high enough now. I need to uh, head back towards the airfield and in a rain shower by the look of it. I can just make out the windmills still. And we can see the line of hangars on the airfield, even from here. The wind's coming from the east, so I'll need to land the way we took off. I find this is uh, an interesting aircraft to uh, go and view scenery from because it's really slow. You don't go above about 60 knots and you can go much slower than that without, without stalling. So it's very easy to fly. Uh, obviously, you know, providing the wind is not too strong. I think the winds are about 10 15 knots today. Coming from the east or northeast. So imagine on the default scenery, you have to cope with that, with that huge windmill at the end of the field. I don't know why they put it there. There is no airfield there. We make a gentle descent into Rosh Barton. It's so sedate you can really enjoy the scenery. still. I'm not sure if I'll get down on this circuit. Uh, probably. But do some side stepping. Carrying a lot of speed. Mm. I think it's a go around. Of course we could land it almost anywhere on the field. You see my airspeed is is quite low. Looks like about thirty knots. So I'm just abusing it by not setting up the landing properly, but I'm fairly confident we'll get in this time. So I'm traveling much slower. Well, maybe not. <laughs> I can't get down. It's an abort, it's an abort, it's an abort. Well, we almost clipped the top of those trees. It's exciting.
Let's go and have a look and see what the airspeed actually says. Yes, yeah, about, about 40 knots I'm doing now. Let's make another attempt. There's no flaps on this aircraft to slow you down. Still too high. But no throttle on. Hmm. Not sure this flight model is quite right. I guess you'll get bored of watching me do this all day. But Third time lucky. That's enough of that. Thanks for watching.